Very distinguished colleagues, order. I come under Order 43 of the, of the rules of this Senate. By the indulgence order. of the Senate and leave of the President of the Senate, a Senator may make a personal explanation, although there be no question before the Senate, but no controversial matter may be brought forward, nor may any debate arise upon the explanation. The terms of the proposed statement shall be submitted in detail to the President of the Senate when he leaves to make it his thought. So I come under for the three for personal explanation. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, this morning my attention was drawn to a three page advertorial by the Attorney General of Kogi State. Pages 20, 21, and 22 of the leadership newspaper. He was responding to my contribution at the floor of this Senate when Senator Dino Malaye informed this Senate of the effort of the people of his uh, constituency to recall him. And I also advised that the people of Kogi State, or indeed its constituents, should better apply their time to more useful ventures in view of the strict and very difficult conditions for the call of a parliamentarian. And in reference to the Attorney General, I did say that I believe that my learned friend, the Attorney General, may not have advised the Kogi people, or indeed the government, appropriately. So this morning, Kogi State Government took out three-page advertorial to respond to me. I understand that every page costs about 700000 So that is to say that for this alone, they spent $2 million. I understand, too, that this is about five other papers. So we are looking at about $12 million of Kogi State Government spent in responding to my contribution at the floor of this Senate. Meanwhile, what I say here is supposed to be privileged. That's what the law says. But I would have ordinarily ignored him. But I would like to point out his final paragraph so that I'll put everything in proper perspective. He said, and I read, finally, I must put on record that contrary to the legal opinion of Senator Ekweremadu, on the role of the Senate in the recall process. The Senate has no role whatsoever in the recall exercise than to receive the certificate under the hand of the Chairman of INEC stating that the provisions of Section 69 of the Constitution has been complied with, see Section 68H and 69 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. Indeed, this is what he said, indeed, <clears throat> by the provisions of the INEC regulations for the recall of a legislator, a legislator stand record upon INS confirmation of a majority vote in favor of the recall. So he is saying that the Senate has no role. He is the Attorney General of uh, Kogi State. I stand by what I said the other day, and I would like to take him to Section 1682 of the Constitution to show the role of the Senate, which is say we don't have any, any role. Section 1682 reads, the President of the Senate, let me start from H. The President of the Senate, the 68 1H, says, The President of the Senate, or as the case may be, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, receives a certificate under the hand of the Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, stating that the provisions of Section 69 of this Constitution have been complied with in respect of the recall of that member. That was the section the Attorney General was referring to. But he mysteriously refuse to state the provision of Section 2, or probably out of ignorance, he did not put Section 682, which states that the President of the Senate or the Speaker of the House of Representatives, as the case may be, shall give effect to the provisions of Section 1 of this section. So, however, that the President, so, however, that the President of the Senate or the Speaker of the House of Representatives or a member shall first present evidence Satisfied to the House concerned that any of the provisions of that subsection has, been, uh, has become applicable in respect of that member. 
So I don't know where, how he came to the conclusion that we do not have any role to play. I stand by my position that when INEC is through with any recall process, they must write to the senior president who will now read it before us and will be satisfied that the provision of 69 in reference to recall has been fully complied with. So I, I pity the people of um, to this state that hire this kind of attorney general. I sympathize with them and uh, this is unfortunate that we are paying a public servant and is not able to do a simple work of looking at the constitution. Let me also emphasize that this is A2 is not part of the amendment we made in the constitution since 1999. This has been the original provision of the constitution, so we didn't invent it. It has nothing to do with Dino or whoever. We inherited this provision since 1999. It's been there. So for him not to know about it, I don't know when he went to law school anyway, because <laughs> if, uh, if he has been properly educated, I bet that uh, he should be, be conversant with the basic provisions of the constitution. So, and um, I also don't know his age at the bar, but apparently I believe I'm his senior at the bar, and I expect him to show some respect to his seniors, because that is uh, what we are taught at the law school, to respect our seniors. But for abundance of doubt, I also believe I have a better credentials than himself in the legal profession. I was a law teacher, and my interest was uh, constitutional law. I also practiced law. I have a doctorate degree in law, and my interest is also constitutional law. I've been chairman of the Constitutional Review Committee of this National Assembly since, 19, since 2010. So if I'm talking about the Constitution, I must know what I'm talking about. And I expect the Attorney General, instead of displaying his ignorance, to simply call me and I educate him on the correct position of the law. So I take exception to this, and I believe that he needs to refund the amount spent on this to the people of Kogi. So I call on the Kogi uh, Council of Assembly to institute an inquiry on who paid for this and find a way of receiving the money back so they can use it to, uh, to pay salaries of the ordinary people of this state.